Hello grade 5 and welcome to session 2 of our lesson which is multiplication of decimals. In the previous session we explained how to multiply a decimal number and a natural number. In this session we are going to discuss and learn how to multiply two decimal numbers. To multiply two decimal numbers we should count the decimal places of both numbers to insert the point in the product. Let's take an example. Knowing that 4,235 times 27 is equal to 114,345. Can you find the following products? Look at part 1. Can you find the answer of 423.5 times 27? Look, the numbers up and down are almost the same, while the difference is that here we have a decimal point. So, we have one decimal place. So, what to do? If you multiply these two numbers, we ignore the decimal point, so we will get the same answer. But, don't forget to insert the decimal point. Since we have one decimal place, so the decimal point will enter one, di one digit. So here is our final product. So the answer will be 11,434.5. Part 2. Okay, what if we have... 42.35 times 2.7. Can you find the answer? Look at these numbers and the numbers up. They are almost the same, but the differences are, are that we have two decimal points. Here we have two decimal numbers. What to do when we multiply? As we said before, we ignore the decimal points. So they will give me the same product same numbers almost the same numbers why because we have to put the decimal point look at the first number here we have two decimal places look at the second number here we have one decimal place so the decimal point will enter three decimal places why because the total is three decimal places so let the decimal point enter three digits to the left one two three so here will be the decimal point so finally our final answer will be 114.345 the decimal point entered three decimal places part three what if we have these two numbers? These two numbers are similar to the previous numbers, but here we have two decimal numbers. We are multiplying two decimal numbers, so we will get the same product, but the difference that we have to know how to put the decimal point. Look, in the first number, we have three decimal places. In the second number, we have also three decimal places so the total how many decimal places do we have here three here three so the total decimal places are six in another words we will have six digits in the decimal part of the product here is the product so we will have six digits in the decimal part so one two three four five six all of them will be in the decimal place so here is going to be the point so we put 0 0.114345 so how to multiply two decimal numbers to multiply two decimal numbers we have to follow these steps one as usually we arrange the numbers in the vertical form to multiply any two numbers we arrange them in the vertical form 
Step two, we multiply as if we don't have a decimal point. So we ignore the decimal points. After multiplying, you add the two products and here is our final product. What to do? Do we finish? No. So after multiplying these two numbers, we have to enter the point into the product. How? We count the decimal places in both numbers. So in the first number, we have three decimal places. In the second number, we have one decimal place. So one, two, three, four. In the product, we will get four decimal places. This is one, this is two, this is a three, and this is four. So here will be the decimal point. Our final answer will be 3.5 thousand Okay, this is a new idea. What if one of the decimal numbers is less than one? Less than one, it means it's zero point any number. What to do? Example, let's multiply 1.86 times 0 0.04. As we said before, the first step, we arrange these two numbers in the vertical form and we start multiplying and ignore the decimal points. So starting with 4, we multiply it by 6, then by 8, then by 1. We will get 744. Look, the remaining digits to the left of the 4 are zeros. Since all the remaining digits are zeros, stop multiplication. So I will stop multiplication. What to do? Count the number of decimal places in both numbers to insert the decimal point in the product. So finally, we have to put the point in the product. But before we put the point, what to do with these two ignored zeros? You put these two ignored zeros in the product. And we enter the point. How to put the point? Look here. This is the first number. This is the second number. In the first number, we have two decimal places. In the second number, similarly, we have also two decimal places. So in the product, we will get one, two, three, four decimal places. This is our product, four, four, seven, and we have zero. So this is one, this is two, this is a three, and this is four. We put zero here. So here is the point. So our final product will be 0 0.0744. By this, we finished our session. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.